tribe coated titanium boys. Dominator 2 are back for more damage. This thing out the accelerator pulls the motorbike up to 20 miles an hour. It's very, very nippy. They've got about a ton and a half worth of pressure from that axe. And have you made any changes since the heat? Yes, we've uh, changed the tyres, so we've got added grip, so we've got far more pushing power. We've reshaped the axe, ground it and polished it so it doesn't get stuck into the competitor, competitors. And we've also moved one of the main control PCBs between the gearboxes, absolutely invulnerable there. Because that got spiked last time, didn't it? It nearly did, but we didn't, didn't want to risk it this time. Well, they'll need those changes because they're up against the fifth seed. And it is the Firestorm 2, boys. Hello. Now, this is a special robot because you, normally we have one motor per wheel, but not on your robots. Nope. We've got one big motor at the back for forwards and backwards, so it turns the differential in there like that. And then we've got two smaller motors down here for left and right, which turns the differential like that. So you've got a forwards and backwards motor and a sideways motor, which should yep. give you more control. Yes. And you've also got 25 stones worth of self-writing flip at the back yes, there. We do, yeah. Which your opposition don't have. No, they don't. Uh, we don't believe that they can self-write, but we haven't seen her in action yet, so, well, wait and see. This is going to be an interesting one, is it not? It What's your definitely. message for the opposition? Um, run away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Rome hunting. Dominator two. The motto of this team is ram it, hit it, push it. Two industrial motors generating up to 20 mile an hour. A pneumatic axe is the weapon. A plasma nitride coated titanium shell. Can they dominate or will they whimper? Welcome to Dominator. Previous battle, we put the axe through 101. In the tracks, all over his casing. We're looking forward to doing it again. Modifications, these tires. Plenty of grip, plenty of pushing power. We're not only going to axe them, we're going to push them. From Durham, seed number five, Firestorm. Third in the third series of Robot Wars, a fire extinguisher CO2 gas power flipping arm which can toss the equivalent of 25 stone. For their heat final, they inserted heavier batteries than normal. It paid off. Hiya, I'm Alex Morgi, I'm Graham Bourne, and this is Firestorm. Still a little battle weary from its previous fights, but we've still got our flicker and we've still got our speed. So we're ready to go on and win this. Roboteers, stand by. There's the Dominator 2 team, a unique by wedge shape. Uh, there at the controls, Peter Halloway. There's Firestorm 2, Alex Mordew on the right hand side, Graham Bone, the taller of the two. Three, two, one, activate. Classic wedge of Firestorm against the by wedge, which has the more obvious weapon. There it is. That is coming down, and again, Firestorm 2, though, has the flipper! And over onto its side goes Dominator 2. Can they write themselves? Very impressively done, very quickly done. You can see the new tyres on Dominator 2. And again, down comes the axe. Look at the blade. Oh, lifting, plucking at the powerful flipping arm of Firestorm 2. Fought in Series 2, fought in Series Three. They got knocked out by Chaos 2. The Durham boys, they were at Edinburgh University together. And up against Dominator 2. They now come back in on the attack. Trying to get in underneath Dominator. There they are, Graham and Alex. You saw from behind. Dominator 2 now on the attack, chasing them down across the arena floor. They get up to 20 miles an hour, Dominator 2. Peter Halloway, the project manager for the team, the driver, the T-boy also, he says, so Paul Tolliday is controlling the weapon, and the crowd make their intentions clear. They want the Firestorm boys into the pit, but they escaped. You see a vent of steam rising from the arena floor there in the background, and Dominator 2 upended. Comes crashing down. That's where Firestorm 2 could have done, perhaps with an axe-type weapon, to get in on the vulnerable underbelly of Dominator 2. Only has the flipper, scarred Firestorm, badly as well, but always aggressive. Again, Dominator 2 flipped up. This first semi-final has been markedly close. Really has been highlighted by some very tense close battles. And this is another one, and I'm sure it'll go to the judges, unless Dominator 2 can free themselves here from the arena floor and the arena wall. The ref knock comes in. Dominator 2 are there, mobilised. Firestorm 2, Grains, great. 
And Dominator 2 may have just got away at the end to take it to a judge's decision. Only just, though. Well, did Firestorm burn brightly or did Dominator dominate? It's up to our judges. They've had their work cut out, haven't they? The quality of the semi-final so far, judged by the fact that they've had to make three decisions now. Dominator 2 using the axe. Yep, points gained there. But Firestorm 2 came back very strongly. And again, that's been a feature of this semi-final. Takes a little bit of punishment from Dominator 2 late on. Chaps, the decision is through. It's the closest decision ever in the war. The judges have gone two to one. And it's only by one point in favor of Dominator 2! Guys, you were the fifth seed. Yeah, not really. You were finalists in the last war. And you've gone out to an unseeded robot. How did you think it went yourselves? I thought it went pretty well. Do you think you'd stolen it? I no, thought we'd got it through. Good. It was very close, but I thought we might have just got it at the end there when we got them up against the barrier. You did seem to be the strongest robot a lot, but it, that one was terrier-like. It was very, very aggressive. And you, yeah. you flipped it, it flipped it back. You flipped it, it flipped back. Are you going to um, come back next year? Yeah, we will do. Different robot, same robot? Same robot, just a bit better. A bit better. Cheers, guys. Don't be too upset. Not too upset. Let's hear it for Firestorm. Come on! I can't believe you did it. No, can we? Because <laughs> we were at back while the judges were deciding, and you, Mr. Pessimistic, <laughs> will go, no, I've lost it, we've lost it, I can't see it, I can't see it, we've lost it, we've lost it. And you oh, come well. through. Well, it was just... Two to one, one point in yes. it. Yeah, it's good. It's a good fight. You're through to the next round, guys. But yep. You know, the robots get bigger and better and badder as you progress. Absolutely. Yep. And we've got some work to do now. You certainly have got some work to do. It's exciting, isn't it? It certainly is. Let's hear it for Dominator 2! <laughs> is that one of the points that they lost on? What do you think, team? Well, a little bit disappointed with the decision, but... Now, you, you've seen the judges' score yeah. marks, haven't you? How, what were the exact marks? Uh, it was 111 for us, 109 for them. But it was... We lost it on one judge by one point. Incredibly close. Yeah, when you get to was. this stage in the competition, you've got to expect that, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. We lost, lost it on, on damage. I mean, we've got holes all over the robot. It's all cosmetic stuff. The robot still works fine, so... Ours was still working fine at the end of the battle, but... It was a bit knackered, but I think they've got it sorted for the next one. Oh, and you're pleased about that. He's pretending to be pleased about that. That's one of the closest I've ever seen, but uh, Tatada Firestorm 2, Dominator 2, one of four machines left in. Only two qualify for the series final. Chaos 2 against Tornado, Pussycat against Dominator 2.